Because that's what a warrior does. This is a war, a bloodbath. What I think you're seeing tonight is the emergence of Oscar Valdez as a great fighter. Now, it's going down like a plane crash tonight. Or should I say, Oscar Valdez is going down like a plane crash. At least, that's my prediction, is that Shakur Stevenson is going to tattoo his name on Oscar Valdez's face. Now, this fight could go either two ways. If Oscar Valdez actually comes to win by living up to his words to do whatever it takes to win, then without a doubt, Oscar Valdez is getting knocked out. However, if Oscar Valdez goes in there to survive, doesn't apply the pressure, only looks to survive in there the way Mikey Garcia did, in order to avoid getting embarrassed and looks for a moral victory to say, I went 12 rounds with Shakur Stevenson, then obviously in that case, Shakur Stevenson is going to win by unanimous decision of complete domination. Tonight, you guys going to witness what it looks like when a chef cooks a duck well done. I see Oscar Valdez in this fight looking to trade with Shakur Stevenson where he's going to try to take Shakur Stevenson punch and at the same time throw his own punch, especially when Shakur throws a combination. I can see Oscar Valdez trying to absorb the punches then trading with Shakur while getting hit. See, it's not going to work if Oscar Valdez is going to try to counter Shakur and I'm pretty sure Canelo team knows that. So the only way Oscar Valdez can have major success is if he trade with Shakur Stevenson. But even that's not going to work because Oscar Valdez only could get away with that a couple times before Shakur Stevenson makes the necessary adjustments. Furthermore, ESPN for years have been promoting Oscar Valdez as one of the Mexican greats. He's undefeated. He's a warrior. So keep the same energy. Don't flip. After the future pound-for-pound -pound king, Shakur Sugar Stevenson, does a job on him. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Who are you picking tonight and how? Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Shakur Stevens gets anybody. Y'all heard it from me. David, uh, Shakur Stevenson, I'll, I'll quote him. He said, David Benavides is a bad and that he thinks you're the toughest fight out there for Canelo. What do you think of his fight with uh, Oscar Valdez? Well, like, and what do you have to say about you? Uh, first of all, you know, um, I just feel very honored, you know, at, uh, from getting a compliment like that from an Olympian and silver medalist. You know, he's a great fighter. I feel like he's going to be unified champion in multiple divisions one day. So I feel very... Uh, very motivated by just hearing him say that. And uh, I feel the same way about him. I mean, he's a great fighter. He's probably one of the best 130-pounders uh, you know, in the world today. And I feel like he's going to go in there and he's going to beat Valdez with no problem. I think it's going to be very uh, difficult for Valdez. Valdez to even catch him or, you know, to ca catch uh, Stevenson's counters. You know, and Stevenson, he's, he's a he's a bad as well. So, you know, I'm very happy to hear that. And, and, so, and